This is Bongo Zozo doing a report on the foods in Zimbabwe. On my trips to Zimbabwe, I have been pleasantly surprised by the myriad food options available to me. And here I am showcasing them in no particular order of importance, mainly to make a Zimbos living outside of Zimbabwe homesick and jealous. Now here's what you Enjoy. do, let me teach you guys how to eat it. You split it, mm. you split it so you have a spare one here. Oh, okay. And then this one here, mm. you dunk in there, you put a little little indentation there, and this, and you get your yeah. old spinach. You got your soup as well, uh-huh. eh? It's called soup. The gravy is called I know soup. it's called soup. <laughs> yeah, okay. Got my second one here. Get it a nice round ball, put a little hole in it, put it in the soup. Gravy. Mm. Now that, my friends, is lacquer. Yeah. I say lacquer. Uh-huh. <laughs> I say lacquer because I'm sitting around people who have fries and they say lacquer a lot. But really, this is Satsa Jakanaka. This is village Satsa, which is very different. Much tastier. And also we've got chicken. And this isn't just normal chicken. This is roadrunner chicken. Um, which unfortunately I spotted a, a few hours ago and I commented on what a nice chicken it was. And uh, I was right. It is a nice chicken. I'm sorry I'm eating your friend. You're next. This is Kuku Wakinyeji, Unona. Hapa nilipo hapa, Zimbabwe. Tunakula ugali. Ugali unaito sadza hapa, Zimbabwe. Kuku Wakinyeji. Na hii parachichi limechumwa sasa hivi. Ya, ra. Yani kuwa kijijini, ra. Here, my friend has is uh, I've never tried this. This is um, rice, rice with peanut butter, peanut butter, yes, and uh, and kidney that was my st- <laughs> kidney. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. It tastes like peanut butter. This is a Zimbabwean braai, and this is the braai master general. Uh, and then we got a bit of rum steak, I mean, top of the range. And then halloumi cheese, we're going to fry that up, fry that up, fire it up. Okay, what's this juice? Uh, it's a marinade, that's a special marinade, Zimbabwe style. Zimbabwe style marinade, eh? This is a Sunday afternoon. This is a Sunday afternoon in Zimbabwe, basically every Sunday in Zimbabwe. I'm trying to balance the steak, China. I want to cook it on the fat while everything else is ready. Like that. You see that? We're done. Now, the chicken's almost done. Masimba's my, the real chef, and I'm the learner. Now this, Blue Job, very rude name, from Pizzazz, is the greatest burger in the world. Travelled around the whole of Zimbabwe, and this is my motivation. Finding out from Greystone Park, this is Bongo Zozo. Perfectly toasted bun, it looks like the picture, and it tastes better than that. I just come from uh, Chicken Inn and I really got to say I do love that chicken. Food of choice is the banana and by the way this is what a banana should look like it should have black bits on it and it should be bent curved <laughs> cooking breakfast with bongo zozo in chamani mani let's see yeah that's done got some uh, scrambled omelets uh, kind of contraption going on here here we go 
But yeah, this is the bongos of the breakfast. Banana, egg, cheese, sandwich. Mm, yeah, baby. That's how we roll, baby. And Kefalos cheese. Kefalos, the best company in Zimbabwe. I'm devouring these. I will eat this whole packet of Marie biscuits, which I've got to say are the nicest biscuits I've ever had in my whole life. Maybe because I'm so hungry. Just biscuits and water. I thought, yeah, I'm going to just fill myself with energy <laughs> so I can make the other scent, baby. Yorkstown chocolate cheesecake served on a macadamia nut sponge with a white chocolate ganache over. This chocolate would be the chocolate whiskey cake without any flour. It's the chocolate, 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 and a chocolate option. Here's the orange coconut cake. Coconut sponge soaked with orange and lemon syrup with a chocolate custard over. It's juicy, it's gooey, and it's got a gorgeous orange flavor. 